All right then, so the next thing I'd like to show you that's changed in version six is how we create nested routes. Now, previously we had these in the product details component and also in the about page component. And I commented both of those out so that they didn't cause any errors while we're updating our code to use version six of React Router. So let's start back at the about component and tackle the nested route in here, first of all. So this nested route right here said that if you go to forward slash about forward slash offers, then we'll output the offers component right here. This is how nested routes worked, right? And we imported the offers component up at the top of the file. Now remember, that's just a block of three products in a grid row. So first, let me uncomment this route. And if I save it now and then preview this in a browser, then we can see that if we go to forward slash about, then we don't see anything now on the screen. And if I go to forward slash about forward slash offers, again, we just get this kind of blank page right here. Now, if I inspect over here and go to the console, it says no routes matched location forward slash about forward slash offers. But also if I just go to forward slash about, then we get all of these errors as well. And it says up here, a route is only ever to be used as the child of routes. So, you know, like in the app component, I said that we had to put all of our route components inside the routes component. Well, we have to do that with nested routes as well. So the first thing we need to do is wrap our routes inside the routes components. And that also needs to be imported from the React Router library at the top of the page. Otherwise, this ain't going to work, right? And then once that's done, we still need to update how the route component is being configured to match how we work with routes in version six. So the first thing we need to do is remove the closing tag and the nested offers component. We don't do it that way anymore. And instead, we need to add an element prop to the route, which is equal to some JSX. And that JSX in this case is just going to be the offers component tag. So now we're saying render this offers component right here when a user visits forward slash about forward slash offers. And we've updated this route now to match how we work with routes in version six of React Router. But that's not all the changes we have to make when we're using nested routes like this. Notice how at the minute this path right here is the entire route path after the root of the domain. So forward slash about and then forward slash offers. Now in version six, nested route paths become relative to the parent path that they used in. Now we're in the about component. So our path for this nested route should be relative to the about path. In other words, all we have to do is remove the about part from the path. And now this says, look, if a user visits forward slash about, then they see this about component, right? But if they visit forward slash about forward slash offers, then they also see this offers component right here as well. So the path is just added onto the end of the path for the current page this is used in, in our case, the about page. So that's one more major change. Nested route paths are now relative to parent route paths, okay? The second big change to nested routes is that we also need to update the about path inside the root component. So right now inside the app component where we register the about right, we're saying only match forward slash about for this component. And remember, this is exact match by default now. So currently, if we try to go to forward slash about forward slash offers, it won't match this route and we won't see the about page at all. We'll just see a blank page because that forward slash about forward slash offers route path isn't being matched against anything here. However, to combat this, we can just add an asterisk after the about part in the route path. So it becomes forward slash about and then forward slash asterisk. And this asterisk means also match against any other slug or path that comes after the about part. So now if we go to forward slash about forward slash offers, it would match this. And since the asterisk part is the offers in this case, then the nested route will match as well. And we will show the offers component too. Now this asterisk will match any path which comes after the about part. So if I visit forward slash about then forward slash hello, then it will still match it and it will still show the about component. But 
inside that component, the nested route will not match because the second part of the route is not offers, it's hello. And so we won't see that offers component right here. We will just see the initial about component instead. I hope that all makes sense. So now let's save this and try it out in the browser. All right, so if now we try going to the about page, we can see no longer do we get all of those errors and we see the about component right here. Now also, if I go to forward slash about forward slash offers, we should see the about page, but also the offers component at the bottom as well for that sub route and we do. So this all works now. Now, like I said, this extra bit at the end, which is matched by the asterisk, can be anything. So I could put in a load of junk here and go to this page and we still see the about page because it's matching this path right here. And we show the about component for that path. However, we no longer see the offers component at the bottom because this second part of the route doesn't match the route we created inside the about component, which only matched against offers. Now, we also had a nested route inside the product details page right here. So let me uncomment that. And this one was a little bit more complicated when we used it with version 5.1 because we had this path variable inside the path property right here. And we needed this because it was changeable because the ID of each product is different. So we couldn't hard code any kind of path like forward slash products. Um, we can spell it and then forward slash three for example and then forward slash offers because this part right here would change it could be zero one two three four five etc so we had to use that path variable and that path variable would basically just get us the path that we're currently on on this product details page including the id of the product that we're viewing so that path came from this thing right here and we used a hook called use route match to grab that path. And that came from React Router DOM. I've not got it there at the minute because we're not going to use it, but it did come from React Router DOM. And from that, we could get the current path that we're on. So that's why we used it down here then. All right. Now, because this is now a relative path, we don't need any of this anymore. So it makes it much easier. So I can get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. And then down here, I can get rid of all of this stuff and I'm just going to replace it with offers like so. And this does the same trick because now remember this path right here is relative to the parent page. So if we're already on forward slash products forward slash three, then all we need to do is add on offers right here and it will match forward slash products forward slash three forward slash offers. Okay. And it doesn't matter what the ID is. It's going to show this component and then it's going to show the offers component as well. Now, we also need to get rid of this and this and instead add on the element prop right here. And we set that equal to some JSX where we output the offers component like so. And then we need to close off this tag. Now, also, we need to wrap this route inside the routes component, much like we did inside the about page like this and also in the app component. All of our route components go inside the routes component. And that's the case all the time. If we don't place a route component inside a routes component, then we're going to get an error. So let's create that. Routes like so. Place this at the end. And then let's scoot this in. And then I think, friends, that is pretty much it because we've already imported the offers component at the top right here, we have the routes. Oh, we also need to import routes like so, because we just use that right here. And that is it. So if we save this now, we can preview it. All right. So now if I go to the products page and I choose a product, we are actually still going to get a warning because I forgot to do something, but we'll address that in a second. We should still see the product page, which we do. But if I now go to forward slash products forward slash offers, then this is not going to actually work at the minute. And we see this no routes matched location forward slash product forward slash six forward slash offers. And that would be the same no matter what this ID is right here. Now, the reason this is happening is because we've not added that asterisk inside the app component for the product details route. And since we don't have that, it's not going to match this because it doesn't know what this office thing is at the end. All right. So let's just add on the asterisk first of all. 
So if we go over to the app component and we need to come to the product details right here. So after the ID forward slash asterisk, and now that means match anything that comes after this part in the route. So if this is offers, then it's going to match and it's going to show the product details page. And also inside that, this is going to match and it's going to show the offers component as well. So let me save that now and I'm just going to bring over the browser to see if this works. You can see I'm at the correct address up here and now we see the offers component at the bottom as well. Let me go to product. I'm going to clear this and choose a different product and we see the product page. If we go to forward slash offers at the end of it, then we should see the offers component as well. Awesome. So then my friends, that's pretty much it for this short series and hopefully now you can start using React Router version 6 in your own project and you're pretty comfortable with it. Now if you do want to learn more about React and how to create fully fledged websites with it, definitely check out my React and Firebase Udemy course. The link to this is going to be down below. There's about 22 hours of content in this course and in it you're going to learn how to create several different React projects that incorporate things like databases, authentication, file storage and much more. So again the link to this is going to be down below. Anyway if you enjoyed this series my friends please do not forget to share, subscribe and like that really means a lot and I'm going to see you in the very next one.